Okay, cool. Hi, hello, welcome. My name is, you want me to do it again? Okay. Let's go, three, two, one. Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Steffi. This is a concept I created one night after two glasses of wine where I wanted to ask my friends things in a random studio in Brooklyn and see if they were to show up. Talia showed up. Talia, say hello. Hey. Okay. Where's mine? Hey. <laughs> This is a bowl full of questions that I have written after three glasses of vino. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the shrimp bowl. Yeah. I don't want you to be intimidated. Shrimp has never intimidated me. That's crazy. I know many white men <laughs> that they hate or white ate men. a crustacean. Well, it, may, it reminds them of something. <laughs> Maybe, but why would you agree to go to a seafood bar and have a seafood tower if you don't eat seafood? We'll talk about it another time. This is a bowl full of questions, okay? You've established that. We're bowling right now. Oh, cute. We're bowling, right. And asking you these questions and getting to know you better is one of my dreams. Great. This is my Super Bowl. What a play on words. Wasn't that good? You're a genius. Thank you. I've been trying to tell people for years. Let's go bowling. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out a question after you. You're going to go first. Okay. And we're going to talk about it a little bit. Do I ask you the question I pull or do I answer the it's question? It's for you. Oh, it's for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Describe your personal style and what you're trying to communicate. This is the exact one I wanted. Even really? Even though I was in there. But I've always liked this question okay. concept. Mm -hmm. I famously don't have a sense of style. Mm -hmm. I, I really, but I've never really cared much. I can appreciate beautiful fashion. I can appreciate a beautiful outfit and beautifully crafted clothes. And when I'm watching the Oscars red carpet, I can have an opinion on mm -hmm. what I think is beautiful and what's not. But for me, I just don't care to spend a lot of money or time on my outfits because I don't mm -hmm. care. I wish I did because personal, be looking, flattering your body type and who you are. It's like the way you look is important, especially as a woman. Mm -hmm. But I just don't, it's one of the things I care about the least. Right. So my personal style, I swear every day, I'm not trying to sound like no, cool girl, but this you is really cool the truth. Thanks. But yeah. I really do wear like basketball shorts or like a like something loose every day, big t-shirt. If I want to look cute, I have like the same three going out tops in rotation that I found work oh, for me. Incredible. I don't really care enough. And I wish I did. You I'm really lazy and I'm really cheap. You're so and free. That's it. I bought this at Urban Outfitters yesterday. I saw it in like the $10 like bin there, oh. like the sale part. And I was like, this would be cute. So then tomorrow I don't have to worry about an outfit for Teffy. <laughs> Instead, this is 15. It's pants and a top and that's it. But I, you wore it yesterday. Oh, I did wear it yesterday to wash a cat. It's <laughs> just a baby cat. It's comfortable and it was like, it's like pajamas in my apartment so I threw it on. It was 10 bucks well, or something. What do you see in the media that you feel like dresses well? Everyone but me. <laughs> no. Everyone dresses so nicely. And when, one day, mm -hmm. if I ever have a stylist, I would hope. Mm -hmm. I'm. Who do I think? I mean, Zendaya always looks beautiful. She, Everyone loves. She does. Roche does. But she's very. She's very tailored. I needed to look a little. I. You know who I think of when I get dressed? Have you seen Meet the Fockers? Yeah, of Barbara course. Streisand. So oh I think yeah. I wanted yeah, yeah. to look a little nuts. Yeah. But in a healthy way, in an approachable way. That's who I think of. That's so funny. We have the same reference point for different reasons. Mm -hmm. I always think of her and Meet the Fockers for my ideal relationship as an older woman. They are marriage with, with Dustin Hoffman. I that's your ideal. Beautiful. It really is. Positively sexual. Extremely sexual. Affectionate. Yes. I don't think it's possible, frankly, hot take. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's possible to have that type of relationship with somebody after like 30 years. I think that's a bit of a stretch in the movie. I don't think it's possible to have that relationship without swinging. Wait, thank you. And I hate this <laughs> idea. <laughs> We started with fashion, right? I hate this idea. This is my Super Bowl. Okay. Well, since when are people like really in the So crazy. Since when? This is actually Zendaya's couch. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> designed it. Designed it. This was his last project. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I... It was his final straw. <laughs> Broke Lara, <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. shut up. Let me make my point and then we'll swinging, move on to your swinging, question. Swinging. I, I just think that relationships, mm -hmm. um, when you've been together with one person for so long, to mm -hmm. have that kind of passion and fireworks, I think it's really a tall order. I don't think it happens often. But for them, I've always seen myself, when I think of what kind of marriage I want if I get married, I yeah. would love to meet 
the person when I'm like 60 and be like Barbara and Dustin in that movie mm-hmm. where we're just like fucking all the time yeah. and like traveling around the world and mm-hmm. calling our respective kids and being like, I'm in Morocco. See you later. Yeah. Like, I like that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that woman also is very much my mom's personal style. Okay. My mom dresses like that. Comfort, so it probably comes. If you, you can garden and go to lunch. Exactly. I think right. I'm like a descendant of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want to get married when you're 60. I see it happening and I'd be very content if that happened. I'd also mm-hmm. love to have a beautiful, amazing wedding garden. and planet oh. when I'm 28. That's amazing. How so old I don't know. I'm 24. That's amazing. Me too. <laughs> um. <laughs> you looked like younger than me. You look 22. Oh my God. Thank you, Dr. Halas. <laughs> on 56 and Lex. Um, I think that's interesting because I always tell people, I don't know if I want kids. Yeah. But I do know I'd be a bomb ass fucking stepmom. I see that's that. how I feel. I look at Julia Roberts and stepmom, I'm like, I, I could have handled that. I was, I think it's because I was the best camp counselor, right? I am a great babysitter. Mm-hmm. I am so loving and great when it's not my kids. I don't want it to be my kids. If it's my kids, I'll hate them. And then sometimes I think people just have kids because I'm like, you were so curious to see what a little mini you looks yes. like. And now you have to make sure that it doesn't like kill people. <laughs> Maybe it's time to bowl again. <laughs> it's bowl. I think we strike. <laughs> we really okay, or touchdown, whatever the fuck. Okay. <laughs> Sports. Goal. Jumping back in. Yeah. Okay. My question: What celebrity would make you feel starstruck? You know, I actually. So sometimes when I'm about to go to like an event or like do something mm-hmm. that like I I never try to say. I always try to say like it's something that little me would find as cool. You know what okay, I mean? Okay. Yeah. So whenever I'm gonna do something like that. People ask me sometimes, like, oh, are you nervous? And I'm like, you know what's crazy? I don't feel nervous anymore about anything. And it does worry me because that Grey's Anatomy episode, stay with me, the Grey's Anatomy episode where the girl doesn't feel pain, so she let boys hit her in the stomach with an aluminum bat. Yes. And and she was like, I feel fine. And they're like, well, you have internal bleeding, and that's why we have pain. Right. Because it's your body being like, no, not good. Right. So when I'm not nervous, I'm like, I should feel nerves because that'll stop you from, It's not you know? the same, though. It's so not the same. When I think about being starstruck, there are like a couple people that I think I would like lose my mind for. One of them is Michelle LeVon Robinson Obama. Oh, of course. Okay. Sorry. Um, uh, my queen, my angel. <laughs> I literally watch her speak. I'm like, God, she's so, I can't, everything she says, she'd be talking about obese kids in camp. I'm like, God, she's so, she's so well-spoken. I love this bitch, you know? And then I think the second person would be, would probably be like Stevie Nicks. It would probably be Stevie Nicks. Really? Yeah. I think, so when I was growing up, um, what radio stations were in LA? Like we had Y100 and 98.7 okay. Kiss FM. Right. You know why they call it butt rock? What, excuse me? But you know those stations that are like nothing, uh, butt rock all day. You know they call it butt rock? Like, oh, it never made it as a wash man. Like that. <laughs> I love that fucking song. <laughs> Go ahead. That's when I found out people didn't think Nickelback was cool, I was like, what the fuck? Like <laughs> yeah. the whole thing. But they call it butt rock because yeah. it's nothing but rock. Right, 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 right. I love nothing. That. No, I just learned that from you right now. And oh my god, amazing! Well, I learned it like two years so ago. So that's your genre. That's my no, it's not my genre. No, not oh. at all. I just think that's fascinating. Right, language. And anyway, okay. So Stevie <laughs> Nicks. Growing up, we would wa- we would listen to on rotation, the Mamas and the Papas. Very problematic. Wait, they're problematic. Well, the the lead singer. Wait, tell me. Jo- what did I not know? Oh. I love that band. The Mamas and the Papas? You guys know about the Mamas and the Papas, right? Okay, well, it's... No, California. Uh, yes, yeah, so okay. the lead, John, I think. Yeah. Um, his daughter's first boyfriend was him. Huh? And they had a very sexual huh? relationship. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. And do you remember that show So Weird on Disney? So Weird? No. Well, she's the mom in that. And she's very cool. But anyway. Is she okay now? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's so good. You know when you can look in someone's eyes and you can be like, mm, there's darkness afoot. Yeah. You know? So anyway, it's usually for me like an SAT prep course tutor. Like you look in their eyes. And, and like, you can tell. Oh, I have the cutest SAT prep course tutor. She looked like a mushroom. I'm sure I she, still remember her. <laughs> Talk about 
Oh, you're love you. Wait, so why is Stevie Nicks though? Oh, Stevie Nicks. So um, we would listen to Fleetwood Mac uh-huh. and the Mamas and the Papas on just rotate. Uh huh. And then when I would have my first, when I first moved to New York, I like to talk about New York like it's a person. Like I feel like every city is like a town, and you have memories of people in that town. But when I think about really? New York, that's so crazy. You think that every city is a town, and you have memories in that town. Th- well, like no, that I feel like the people in that town. When I think of a town, <laughs> when I think of Miami, I think of my family in Miami. When I think of New York, I think of New York as a person. Oh, I see. You know oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't let you finish. Okay, go ahead. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> no, I thought that the point that you were making was like, do you know how every city has like its own personality? No. I'm like, hot take. Well, so when I, I lived in Colombia for a while and when I was there, you couldn't like listen to Spotify or Pandora. So I'd oh. only downloaded Sade. So when I hear Sade, I think about I see. catching the bus in, in Bogota. And like yeah. now when I hear Fleetwood Mac or Stevie, I think about when you when I would first move to New York and um. I was very alone. And all my friends when I moved here, well, one in particular was like really excited for me to move here. And then I got here and she realized that like the boys in our, I was fresh meat. Right. They got to know me and they right. were like, never mind, of course. <laughs> right. When I first got there, she was like very upset and she like, and she just dropped me. Right. And I didn't really have any fucking friends. Right. And I started dating this Jewish guy from Scarsdale. It was a lot, it was hard. I'm familiar with the type, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Why would you give me a gift card to J. Crew? Oh, we'll talk about it later. And then, <laughs> so I think when I think a of J. Stevie Crew? Nitt, no, I do. Yeah. Do you see me as a, no, no. As a beige knit? No, go ahead. Okay. Anyway. Well, so then I, when I think of Stevie Nicks, I think about like somebody who was like there for me right, in a way. Right. Like I really carried her with me. Oh, that's beautiful. So I think Stevie Nicks, I would lose my fucking mind. And I think also something that worries me <laughs> is I love Britney Spears. I do. I'm, I'm very aware. Yeah. I love her, mm-hmm. but I do imagine her like meeting, like meeting people, or like having like a Barbara Walters like stroll through her garden conversation interview because mm-hmm. that's where my mind goes, and she's like shaking like a like a chihuahua in a in a shelter. Right. Like it would not go well. It would ruin your because I would freak out. Yeah. Oh, oh, you would freak out too much. And, and I know that she's already like shell shocked from uh-huh. the world, uh-huh. so I would like. You don't want to like, like oh, how are you? Yeah. And she'd be like, I'm scared. I'm like, don't move. You know what I mean? That. Well, I feel so. my biggest heroes, I would never want to meet them. I don't have any interest in meeting the people who like meant the most to me. Because I, I believe in saying, don't meet your heroes. I don't want to ruin heroes? it. Well, I don't know. Chelsea Handler. Okay. Um, Sarah Silverman. Sarah I Silverman have, is a hero of yours? Very much so. I haven't heard that in a long time. I really, really do. John Stewart is my hero. Stephen Colbert is my hero. Fantastic John Stewart. Sarah Silverman actually, I shouldn't I categorize him with him. hero. But I, I would kiss him, John Stewart. Who wouldn't? I want him to run for president, and I also want to have sex with him, and I want to be in love with him. And you I, just want him to be so happy with you. I love <laughs> John Stewart, John Oliver is my hero. Sarah Silverman is like, she's a category below. But I feel that, you know, Larry David is a hero of mine. Oh, yeah. I feel that maybe oh, I don't yeah. want to meet them because it's mm-hmm. like, I don't, what if they were rude or what if they were in a bad mood or what if they just weren't like, I was too nervous and I ruined it and then forever, whenever I watch them, my memory of them would be tainted because I'm like, oh, I embarrassed myself. I don't want to I did that with Selena Gomez. I embarrassed myself. Did you really? I told, I texted Emily and I said, I think I'm banned from the premises. I did. What did you say? That's why none of the videos have volume on them. I got, I was talking to her and I was like, we have the same birthday. And then I realized a girl before me a, a, a fellow colleague of ours has the same birthday too and she went before me and in my mind I was like oh my god she's already heard that I'm just like everybody else and while she's talking and she was very sleepy night night she was right, tired it right. was like she literally met every single person in that room right just poor thing no, that's my nightmare especially because we have the same birthday I know how tired she gets right <laughs> you know everything about her exactly and so then I think I was talking to her and she said something back and I said oh should we take a selfie and I was holding Erica Priscilla's phone and my phone. Okay. And for one moment, I was like putting in my code and Erica's and it wouldn't go open and I had a small panic. And then I smiled and it was like the ugliest photo I've ever taken. And I tried to take another one, it was unusable. And I, we looked at the photo together and I said, don't you hate when you look at your teeth for too long, they start to look like clay. And I saw Selena go like this. And I said, no, 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 not your, and it just. But why did Let's you fall. say? <laughs> I'm having, I'm getting hot. Oh my God, I want to die. <laughs> have you ever felt like your teeth look like clay? Stop it. Oh no, I was like, I would have never written that. I would have never. I would have never. <laughs> what are you scared people will reject you for? Okay. 
Isn't rejection itself a fear? Why do I have to expand? Just say it. Just fucking say it. <laughs> <laughs> right? People mm-hmm. will reject me. Mm-hmm. I'll spin it in a different way. Okay. What I've always really wanted mm-hmm. and what I feel like I seek in life mm-hmm. is to be seen and accepted entirely as myself. What is the thing, Talia? I just, I, myself, like mm-hmm. me. I don't want to be rejected for showing who I truly am mm-hmm. in in the Do you closed doors much? of my apartment. Too much, too little. Mm-hmm. Some, my biggest fear in life is not doing what I, sh- I think I'm put on this earth to do. Mm-hmm. I think that I feel, I have a serious imposter syndrome, but mm-hmm. I, unlike everyone else with imposter syndrome, I'm actually an imposter. So You think you're an imposter for real, for real? For real, for real. You think... I do. You think people wouldn't be like, like, I think people know that you're not. Well, what is, what is it you're an imposter? Do you think, so I also get DMs when people are like, you're the best big sister in the world. I'm like, me and my brother didn't talk for a year. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get that. I get that. I get you that. You know, or like people, I, and I make videos yeah. sometimes and I'm like, I don't want you guys to think I'm fucking Barney. Right. Because I have, you oh, know, yeah. done horrible things. Yeah, flaws, of course. You know but I, mean? I think that people. Not horrible things. Like, you know, I've never hit and run a pedestrian. We know. You know? We know. Mm-hmm. Caitlyn Jenner. We yeah. know. Oh my God. I, <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. The people who Fuck know that bitch. you. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck you, Caitlyn Jenner. You're you can going post off. that too. Fuck you, Caitlyn. I'm really, Jenner. I really love your defense of Dylan online too. Yeah, that's I've, really wonderful. I accidentally deleted all my tweets recently. I was trying to delete all the tweets about me and my ex, and I pressed. How do you delete accidentally all. delete all? Well, it's right next to the filter button, so okay. I did that. Okay, that's probably good. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Maybe, Maybe. somebody was going to dig up something bad or whatever. Okay. There's nothing bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you get what I mean. Okay. Okay, go. About that one the time people... I okay, I hit one pedestrian. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. The people who really know and love you, mm-hmm. the people who get you, mm-hmm. um, will will always know that you are a nuanced person who's done human things and mm-hmm. you've made little mistakes, but on the whole, they'll understand that you are good and the, your net um, uh, your your net worth in the world is positive, right? Okay. But I'm afraid that I will be rejected for mm-hmm. um, not for for making it into rooms and then being rejected in those rooms because I didn't actually deserve to be there. And I kind of finessed my way and finagled my way and I was not prepared. Mm-hmm. I wasn't ready. I wasn't. I feel that all the rooms that I've yet to be in, the places, the people I've yet to mm-hmm. meet are people I don't deserve yet. Whereas I wish I had the mindset of like, no, it hasn't happened. I haven't mm-hmm. been in the right door yet. It's not that I haven't worked hard enough yet. And unfortunately, I'm a person who work ethic has never been my strength. I'm not a person who enjoys work. I'm not a person. Supposed to. You're mm-hmm. not supposed to, mm-hmm. but whatever. Some people really, really do. Mm-hmm. Another one of my heroes, for example, is Julie Louis Dreyfus. Mm-hmm. I adore her. She's mm-hmm. my everything. Something I respect and I recognize in her and all those other people I listed is that they work. They put out shit mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. They've always got a new thing. And it's mm-hmm. always the number of shows this woman has made like the, the number insane the, the the offerings to the world that all those heroes i listed have mm-hmm. given i respect that because something i see in myself and i worry is that i will never work hard enough to but do that i think you would if you enjoyed it i need and to find i think you thing. like talking i do love talking i think you like talking i think you like sharing i think that you like meeting people in the middle mm-hmm. you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i think you like that a lot that's a lot of fucking that's something that you cannot teach people <laughs> And I think also if you, if we were in a room with like all of Forbes and you and I was there and I was like, Talia, I dropped out of college four times. The fifth time my mom said, let's not because right. she didn't want to pay the application. <laughs> I get it. I was like, okay. why did you want to go back a fifth time? I just think it's because I came from a time and I'm a first generation. Uh, I come from a family of immigrants. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so like they work so hard. And then also your whole life, especially in the 90s, you're hearing if you don't go to college, right? If that's ho- like you're fucked, right? You know what I mean. So I I kept going and it just like wasn't sticking. Right. And I was already working as um, an assistant to a celebrity stylist. Mm-hmm. So I was around all these successful people who had kind of like hustled their way around. Mm-hmm. But everybody in my family did it the traditional way, and they were successful after years. So I really was around people who like planted the seed mm-hmm. and were patient enough to watch it grow. But I come from a time where I was around all these fucking hustlers and the time of the internet where I was watching people blow up and do things right. without ever having to like go to an orientation. Right. And I love orientation. Ugh. <laughs> Icebreakers. I love that shit. But That's my worst if I nightmare. was in a fucking conference room with you and I was like, Talia, I didn't go to college. 
I, before I ever did anything on YouTube or anything, I was a receptionist. You know what I mean? Right. I always tell people that they gave me the title of head of community and then they're like, and you get to answer the phone. I'm like, right. You know right. what I mean? So if I told you that, you'd be like, fuck it, who cares? You would say that to me. You know what I mean? Like you'd be like, that's amazing. You're here. I do wish I give myself, I gave myself the grace that I give other people. I think I'm very encouraging and I'm a good pep talk giver the way that you are. And then I look at myself and I'm sort of like, you haven't done enough. And I think that a lot of other people have told me that I have. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But then there's that weird, I do that therapy thing. Mm -hmm. I get a little bit worried that when in therapy, I see a lot of really troubled people in my life mm -hmm. who've been going to therapy for a very long so time. So I want to go put a highlighter in your vagina. <laughs> you, <I'm just> <laughs> you told me. Her <laughs> name, her name. I don't want this girl to hurt herself. That's really mm -hmm. embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I meet a lot of people who've been doing a lot of self work for many years mm -hmm. in therapy and they've really been talking to the same therapist who's been telling them over and over they and over again that they're right and they're okay and they mm -hmm. need to be nicer to themselves, right? No, no, no. So anytime people say, Talia, be nicer to yourself, I'm like, but sometimes people take that too far. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people don't grow because they're too in the therapy oh, mindset. Yeah. So we're getting into a big Talia. conversation. To, oh, because I'm leaning? Yeah, well, I think I've created monsters in my life. I think I've created monsters because my friend will be going through like some. She'll be crying to me like mm -hmm. I've done this, I think I've created three monsters. I can think of three. Three. People. Go. Yeah, and I won't say their names, but there were moments where I did not know that they were these toxic nuclear right. people, and I said four words. Your feelings are valid. Oh, I ran with that, and I remember one time my friend was screaming at her girlfriend in the street. This was years ago, screaming at her girlfriend in the street, and I'm there like, I, you don't know what to do. It's like the, it's like the the kind of fight where like they get out of the Uber, mm -hmm, screaming, mm -hmm. and I can't even remember what it was about. It's something so minimal, but I think it, things had just snowballed. And she's screaming, and she goes, "And my feelings are valid." And I was no. like, "Oh my god!" It's like. Wait, what's the, is, is it Stranger Things where the monster keeps getting, Lit, or Hercules, it's like Little Shop of Horrors, yes. you set it something exactly. in it. Exactly. And it, it was, its mouth was mm. open. And poor, what's his name from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? What's oh my God. Name? Um, I have the biggest crush on him. He is cute. He's meanie. But he, I think he's he cute. He quit acting because his wife got very sick. Oh God. Alan maybe, no. Shit. Whatever. Anyway, anyway. go ahead. Um, Whoever knows, okay, but like that that moment where I talk about that a lot with people too, but like when I when somebody tells me like, you do enough, right. rest, I'm like, but when I don't rest, I see other people do things that I want to do. Right, you thank you. I mean? Do you. Have you ever seen those? Okay, there's these TikTok videos that always circulate mm -hmm. that are like, <laughs> if you're, you these videos mm -hmm. are like, if you're, Mm -hmm. like 26 and you don't know what you want to do with your life it's a, they're like you know they're showing you pictures mm -hmm. of flowers and water and mm -hmm. all kinds of things and they're like if you don't know what you want to do with your life like the world is big the universe like, you're really small everything is this important everything's okay you're gonna figure it out like he, telling people it's okay to not know what you want to do it's okay to give yourself grace and like everyone is going ahead of you you can succeed at 40 you know morgan freeman got his first role at this mm -hmm. age take your time. I always see those. Mm -hmm. And I see that 200,000 people liked it and it resonated mm -hmm. with them. And you know what my first thought is? I'm mm -hmm. so fucked up. I go, good, less competition. I'm like, <laughs> sucks I mean, for them. Oh, no. I'm always like, oh, you don't know what you want to do with your life at 26. That's okay. That's, That's okay. okay. You are normal. Mm -hmm. Not me though. Not me though. <laughs> I, it's like if you see another 24 year old that wants to like get into podcasting and talking and like wants to find their way, you're just like, and they're like, I should give up. That, and you're like, like, your feelings. <laughs> 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 I know, but here's the thing. I don't root for other people's mm -hmm. downfall. No, I no. do, I, and I'm working really mm -hmm. hard to accept other mm -hmm. people's successes are not mm -hmm. my failures, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I don't want there to actually be less competition for me, but like mm -hmm. when I see that, I'm like, they're the losers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And me and these other 20 people who are in my league, and I don't see them as competition. Mm -hmm. I see them as all, we're all coming up together. These are the winners. Mm -hmm. I Luckily, at least I'm on the side that knows what I'm going to do with my mm -hmm. life. At least I have direction. And it's not, it's, I'm not saying that this is good. I'm, this is not a very healthy mindset. You're just mindset. saying that this is your I'm mindset. just saying this is who I am. This is who you are. I am an ambitious bitch, but I don't work hard enough. That's my insecurity. Uh -huh. Is I, I don't recognize when I work hard and I don't give myself my flowers. Mm -hmm. I also 
give myself a little too much grace and I'm like, be nice to yourself, take the day off and mm-hmm. then I take a week off, mm-hmm. that type of thing. Mm-hmm. But I, the one thing I can say, I've always known the realm I wanted to be in, the rooms I wanted to be in. Mm-hmm. I've always had a, a sense of what I am good at and what I'm not good at. Mm-hmm. And people who don't have that at my age, I really do think I'm like, at least I'm not you. Okay. That's a really superior mindset to have, but that's my flaw. I think you just confuse complacency with gratitude. Mm. I think it's fucked because when I do the same thing where I'm just like, okay, check. Right. People saw that I did that. Like I have like a visual resume, you know what I mean? Like, okay, people check. I did that. Right. I can do that. Right. What's next? Instead of being like, like. Nicole Kidman requested you, Tuffy. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that was like mm-hmm. you, so something that I really... So you lose sight of the things yeah. that would have made... Mm-hmm. I lose sight of things that would have made younger me proud. Yeah. I, I do things that I'm like, if two years ago, if I knew that I was doing this, I'd be like, holy shit. And mm-hmm. to me, I'm like, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Do you ever feel scared to tell people what you actually want to do or the things that you want to win? I do. I feel it all the time. I don't want to say it out loud. It's an Oscar. Really? (laughs) First of all, good for you for saying it out loud just now on camera. Even for Grammys, I'd be like, I could do a comedic album. I don't mind telling people. I'm, you're right. My I can't dreams. sing a little, but no. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The fact that I'm so obsessed with myself that everything you just said, I was like, yeah, yeah, you can do that. You can do that. Anyway. No, but seriously. But yeah. no, I, I don't. I think do it's good. Do you want to be a Pulitzer? Do you want to be a writer? I want to win an Emmy for the realm of writing, comedy, mm-hmm. political satire, mm-hmm. um, and I'd also like to think that whatever I do in that realm offered something to the world that was good. I don't want it to just be funny. I would hope that it would be something that resonated with women, something that made people shift their mindset politically. That's what I care about. It doesn't have to be, you know, the, the, the statue would be nice. When I see success, I see myself holding the, the statue. statue. That's important to me. But mm-hmm. I just, if, if I don't, if I get close to that and I don't hit it, fine. I don't mind saying that that's a goal that I'm working towards. I, it won't embarrass me if I don't get there. Mm-hmm. But I just feel that an insecurity in like, in how close I am to that. And like, I have such big dreams and sometimes I'm like, you really don't do enough to be able to say that you want those things. So not true. If only you knew how fucking lazy people, famous people are, and how lazy famous I people are. I know they're really lazy. Oh my God. But they've gone to the point What are you doing at Soho House at 2 p.m. on a Tuesday, no laugh? They worked hard for 10 years. They hustled and then they got to the point where they could be at Soho House at 2 p.m. <laughs> I'm 24 and I can go to Soho House at 2 p.m. on a Monday and like, that's oh, lucky. It. You know I what I mean? It. I fed it. I fed the monster. I didn't even know what to do. <laughs> I fed it. I gave it Miracle Grow. It's like growing out Do you think people will like us more or less after this? Mmm, this. Okay. okay so let me... <laughs> oh, wait. Was that yours or mine? Um, I don't remember. Start. You oh, go. I go. Okay. So what musical performer is someone you love but don't care to see live? I have a lot about you. You're right. It is for me first. Um, <laughs> I think somebody I don't care to see live... I've seen a lot of cool people live, okay? Mm-hmm. I saw Adele. It was a surprise performance. Beautiful. Incredible. I've seen Ludacris. I know. Oh. Insane. I I've seen a lot of cool that. people. In a couple weeks, I'm going to go to the F1. I'm taking one of my best friends. She's like having a really drivers? hard time. The drivers. I know nothing. I had to Google yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But she loves that. And one of the drivers there is married to Ginger Spice. I would give both big toes to see the Spice Girls, you know? But I think if there's someone... That I like listening to, but I don't care to see live. I mean, I I want to say I don't know why I keep thinking John Mayer. Why? I did see him once when it's he was dating Katy to. Perry. He puts the guitar. John, like I can respect out. a skill. He's a creepy dude, but he did this thing on stage, and I know he like plays for the Grateful Dead now. Yeah, you know what I mean. And like I know who they are because I fuck people who smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> But he like puts the guitar on the floor, and so I went to go see him, and he he like fingers oh, the and guitar he, and he plays it on the ground, and everyone's like, ah, mm. and I'm like, pick it up. He's so unimpressive. <laughs> but then he, does. he got me kicked off Raya. What? Oh, well, I got me kicked off Raya, but wow. I talked about him. Why is he allowed to stay on Raya hooking up with high schoolers, and I make a joke about it, and I get kicked off? Well, sometimes there's older seniors. I knew I get kicked off. <laughs> Continue. But I think my thing with. Raya, first of all, I thought it was Raya for a long time. And I just don't understand why I have to see that many fedoras. I don't, it it's doesn't make sense to me. It's all like male models. Why is a bank teller at Bank of America on there? They've infiltrated, it's, it's just Tinder at this point. It's just bad. But I think John Mayer once, I, I think I did see him and Katy Perry came on. Oh, cool. It's when they were dating. Yeah. And they did that, you love who you love. 
cool. And that was great. And then she left and I was like, oh, and that's when I realized I'm not here for John. Right. So I don't think I would see John again, but I listened to Gravity or like, Gravity. I want to run through the home. Yeah. Oh, he's school. good. He's objectively I great. I you just, know what it is? He's creepy. I dated a guy. When guys tell you who they look like, mm. it's weird. It's like when it, it's this one guy told me his nickname and I was like, oh, when they start that nickname, he's like, oh, about a year ago, I'm trying to start it. I'm like, it's like having... Why don't men want to have sex? It's like wearing a jersey <laughs> with their own name on it. Oh my God. As I like can, a joke. You I know what I mean? You uh, can die. Uh, uh, but whatever. So I like, think... Um, uh, sorry, it's this guy that I was dating. Was like, I'm trying to everybody start tells this me, nickname about myself. Who does that? And, I only, and then I dated her for like They're nine They're so years. weird. <laughs> you dated that guy for like nine years okay anyway oh um, it's fine but i but there are moments where it's like i don't think men understand that in order for women to continue to date you we have to repress so much i'm a french press we bitch. bury everything I'm fr- and then one day it comes out this isn't even just with guys that i date Talia, it's like with guys a that guy, i'm friends with there's a guy that i went to, uh, to, uh, to get a haircut with and the barber spun him and he said we oui. <laughs> I can't do this right now. I looked at him and I was like this. I and then you know what I did? I put it deep, deep. deep but if, if you ever have a fight or if you ever break up and you want to embarrass him, it comes right back out. I yeah, like go bottom get for your barber angry. already. <laughs> and, okay, uh, it, it's not just with men that I'm dating. Uh-huh. I have male managers, the mm-hmm. guys who make my life like mm-hmm. they literally facilitate my life i owe mm-hmm. everything to them they're mm-hmm. wonderful wonderful but they're men and, sometimes, and they can't fight those allegations I sometimes i'm like oh my, oh my god, god. It, one time one of them pronounced tucson is tuxin in a meeting <laughs> i literally I punch me in the face. to this day i resent him for it like, <laughs> oh, remember and every single time i'm going to be ever like makes any sort of I mean, a flub a mistake which they don't do often they're great guys they're great at their jobs they're smart guys but if they ever fucked up yes. I'd, I'd always be like and one time <laughs> you pronounced two on tuck something I am, how could you do that there are so many moments in my life when i would scream at them like tony collette in that yes. hereditary female rage i am your Toxin. I will it say. It's insane I, toxin. So I feel like whenever, that's what also kills me too when people are like, I'm, in, I'm nervous to go on a date with this guy. I'm like, he probably says toxin. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's so embarrassing. These guys are great. Now they're going to be mad at me again. And then oh, I'm going to no, throw it back in their face. Why do you think we give you 10%? Yeah, I do love you. Yeah, they do a great so job. Much. One time they did this and I, I can't get over it. Like, I mean, I have done, let, let's even the playing field. I used, I've said, I've ordered a Chianti. What's that? A Chianti, a wine. Um, oh, but I was like, I don't even know what that is. Well, See, I, I love you. So, but it's not embarrassing when I've you said, do it. I said, can I get a pint of beer <laughs> on a date? <laughs> what was this question again? Oh, what performer? <laughs> what musical performer do you love that you would that you don't care to see in concert? I said John Mayer. Right, but I already have. I guess somebody else is like, hey, I wouldn't see. I wouldn't see Harry Styles. I wouldn't see Harry. I have seen him three times though. <laughs> But it's because I love the, like, you go with Did the brands. Oh, the brands. No. Okay, so see. I also. I'd is, go to anything There is free. another question in here. There is another question in here that says, would you actually let Harry Styles hit? I wouldn't. No, never. And I know so many, no. people, I know so many people that have fucked Harry Styles. Really? He I know is, everyone who wants to fuck Harry Styles. And somewhere in the middle, there they are. So what was it like? <laughs> they good, said it was, bad? They said it was great. They said yeah, it was I'm great. Yeah, I'm sure he's good. And I think. I, uh, I like, I, I'm too. <laughs> I can't <laughs> yeah it's okay you know i think i like i'm not attracted to guys who are sort of the effeminate like style and it's like like with the painted nails that are really i love I it a little know. bit i love I that like you know what if you can if if the dick is right you can wear my clothes See, <laughs> i don't fucking care it turns me <laughs> off if they're not in like a t-shirt that's three or four years old mm-hmm. older 10 years old if they're if they don't like sports do you like justin bieber growing up no who is, who's your type? He looked like a girl. He does. My type is like Jason Siegel in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, eating cereal out of an aluminum <laughs> bowl. It's so fresh. It keeps it so fresh. <laughs> it's so fresh. I love oh, that. Oh, no, not the shirt. Take my arms. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love that fucking movie. <laughs> Jonah Hill's like, I went from six to midnight. The <laughs> <laughs> movies. And uh, the, the hottest thing about that is that Jason Siegel wrote that whole movie yeah, based on his own life. You know what? That. You know what? I would pay a million dollars to fucking see mm-hmm. the Vampire Opera. One million. The Dracula musical. The, I would pay one million fucking oh dollars. I would give you the die, dollar. Die, <laughs> die, die. die. I can't. I can't. <laughs> there we go. Yes. It's so good. Literally. I love him. I love so him. So that's my type. Guys who are just like really do you like a like Jewish mama's boy? You like bros. a teddy bear, a teddy bear bro. Yes, teddy mm-hmm. bear bro. Not not bro. A yes. Seth Rogen type. Yes, I like Seth that Rogen-y, too. A little dicky. I love a guy that looks like he could defend our farm. Yes, I love big, but I also like kind of nerdy nebbishy I love Jew. A fucked up mouth. I, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love bad tea. Mm-hmm. I just love um, kind of rugged, and I can respect Harry. Mm-hmm. And I love that yeah. fashion is going in the direction where guys mm-hmm. can be expressive with more feminine stuff. But I'm not attracted. Like Ryan Gosling in um, that love, Crazy Stupid Love. Yeah. When he rips when he... open the wallet. I want to smack him in the face with it. How dare you? Oh, with the Velcro. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I like don't the like... way that Steve Carell was before. Steve Carell b- before was perfect. But remember when Ryan Gosling punches David Lindhagen? Yeah, I'll it's always hot. remember that. Yeah. Um, I, want, I like He's a guy like that her. looks like he could stick his hand in the dirt and rip out the potato. Yes. I That's want a guy who like can chop a log. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but that log guy on TikTok... Oh, he. We follow each other, and I'm like, I know you Is have a girl. The one who's like sexy with a log. Yeah, only somebody. That's weird. But I think also like you can. I think it's his girlfriend or his wife that films those videos. I don't like men who make TikToks unironically, which is weird because all I do is make TikToks for my whole job, and I'm attracted to men like Jason Siegel who have their creative. Why are you career. as a man making a TikTok? <laughs> But I do it too. Like I'm, they're not allowed yeah. to do anything. But a lot that of what do. we do is I. But they have to be better at things than I. Am. Okay, I'm used to be until mm-hmm. recently. I'm trying to get off of this kick. I've always been attracted to men who have the things that I want in life. Okay. People who are ahead of the road mm-hmm. uh, or, or down the road. Before well, a kind like, of wisdom or like a knowledge yes, or like about, a foundation. I'm, I'm attracted to people who have a career that I like. Jason Siegel writing that movie. It's hot. And making it. I'm like, ooh. It's hot. You're creative. You, you started from scratch. You had to take your embarrassing, mm-hmm. funny moments and warp them into art. Yet, a man making a single 60-second TikTok mm-hmm. would dry me up like yeah. the Sahara. And I feel like we look better in overalls than Harry. I'm sorry. I, we, I yes, I do. we do. Okay, well. And I'd never see Harry Styles in, in concert. I wouldn't. But if Milk Makeup invited you, you would. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I would. We love Milk I would. I'd do anything mm-hmm. for free if anyone's mm-hmm. watching. Well, I'll yeah. go to anything for you free. You know what it is, though? It's like, I guess when I think about the perform the performer, it's because you want, I, I'm thinking about only seeing the performer. I forget the people that I'm with. Right. And I would, you would come with me to see Harry. And yeah, yeah. No, it would be fun. It would be fun. Okay, so this is what we're going to do at the end of our bowling. Okay. I'm going to give you a blank Oh, that's a blank one. Okay. You're going to ask a question. You don't have to show it to me, and you're going to sign it so the next person that comes in might get your question. Okay. And our next guest is actually Jason Siegel. I'm just kidding. Um, I wish I would be topless. Right I go, before, oh my God, hello. I'm going to be honest. Right when we mm-hmm. started, you might notice I was a little uh, shy. <laughs> I was a little, uh-huh. But I came in here a little thrown off because on the way here, I was mm-hmm. listening to the Call Her Daddy episode with Little Dicky, oh, Dave mm-hmm. Bird, who's mm-hmm. been the love of my life mm-hmm. for many years. He's not he, that great at here. No, take that out. <laughs> I, I look. I, mm-hmm. He to be an, a genius, you have to be a little narcissistic, and that's mm-hmm. fine. I've been in love with him for a very long time. He hard launched his girlfriend on Instagram recently. It broke my heart. It was the worst day of my oh, life. Oh, and so he, you were thrown. Well, he talked on this episode pass. all about how. <laughs> I saw a dog attack. He saw a dog like die in an elevator. It's fine. And mm-hmm. she was like, I'm really off today. And I came in and was like, Little Dicky just talked on his podcast about how much he loves his girlfriend, and I'm suicidal. So did you watch Dave with the it, okay. Yeah, of course. Okay, okay, okay table. Hold on, okay. hold on. Go. I would milk him anytime. And um, that's the beginning of the episode. Mm-hmm. That's the clip. That's the clip. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, shit. Hold on. Mm-hmm. What would you ask? What would you ask? Um Leave it, pretend you're leaving one for our friend Serena Kerrigan. Per- I can be perverted, of course. <laughs> no, not perverted. I was going to say, can it be regarding, like, it doesn't have to be general, right? No. It can be about this situation. Uh, okay. Anything. Oh, I have something funny. <laughs> My ride's here. <laughs> um, what is your... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. This is so mean. I love it. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. 
I like to cause drama and stir the pot. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. My favorite kind of drama is the drama I'm not there for. Can I tell you it? No. Can I tell the camera? It? Yeah, tell the camera. No. I said, what is your favorite and favorite thing about? So it's like they have to tell her to her face something that annoys. No. Okay. Something that annoys them about. I don't have anything for the record, but it could be funny to see what the next person says. Okay. Fold it up. Fold it up. I hope I get it. It's so mean. <laughs> I hope you get it joy. too. Okay. I just think it would be an interesting thing to have to make someone okay. do. Okay. All right. I'm excited. It's kind of mean spirited. Did you have a good time? Are you kidding? Was this your Super Bowl? This was my Rihanna Super Bowl. I love it. This I'm impregnated <laughs> with excitement and hope for our friendship and uh -huh. for this episode and for your future as a, as a woman and in media. And your feelings are valid. <laughs> Where can people find you? Stop telling me my feelings are valid. <laughs> my feelings aren't valid. I need I'm to get up and work. Planting the seed. I, people can find me. Um, my name is Talia Lickstein and I'm, that's me on everything. On Except everything. on, I made a lemonade profile. My profile on that is TRL. I don't even follow that. Okay, everybody give it up. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for having me. Of